Spotter is an incredible AI-driven YouTube planning and content planning software that allows you to build a pipeline of video ideas, optimized titles, even video script concepts and thumbnails that will become top performing videos on your channel. But Spotter is more than just a tool for YouTubers. Spotter is an amazing tool for anyone who's in content creation, developing packages of image, titles, concepts, and delivering them to a team who has to approve them. This is a great tool for anyone who's managing a channel or managing content for a company. And it even comes with a content calendar tool that allows you to schedule it out. Now, Spotter reached out to me and asked me to review the software. I absolutely fell in love with it. I've been playing with it on a few different channels and I'm finally ready to show it to you. So let's get started. I'm Owen Video. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to owenvideo.com slash spotter or scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. So it's like the first thing you'll do is connect your YouTube channel to Spotter. And when you do that, you're gonna walk through a process of programming the AI to understand your channel in just seconds. It's gonna read all of your videos. Once you're done setting everything up, you're gonna land on a dashboard where you'll immediately see at the bottom outliers. Now, I just set up this account and I haven't added the outliers yet. So let me go ahead and add a few outliers. Okay, let's talk about why an outlier is so important. The outlier shows you when a video is outperforming the other videos on that channel. In this particular case, the outlier is calculated by dividing the video's total views during its first seven days by the channel's average seven day views over the past six months. So we can see that this video by Alex Hormozzi is performing at 1.3 times higher than the average video on that channel. If we scroll up here to the left-hand side, we can click on more outliers. And this is where you guys are gonna find tons of golden video ideas and use Spotter to build out the concepts. So you can see that this video here, Getting Caught Up, Destiny 2 is outperforming by 4.9%. That might be great, but it has nothing to do with my audience. So I'm gonna change this tab up here that says all of YouTube. I'm gonna change that to my audience also watched because Spotter has already gone through all my channel data and it knows what my audience is watching. So when I click on that, what I see is a whole new list of videos that my audience is watching. And we see that this video outperformed by 1.5x, but it still doesn't make sense to me. I can see that this video is exactly what my audience is gonna wanna watch, and it's 1.1 index. But look at this one here. This video right here, the one skill that will make you millions and no one is talking about. That's a really great title, and it's got an outlier index of 82 X. This is going to give me a really great idea for a video on my channel. I want to make a video that's like this video. So I'm going to kind of take this title and start to work with it. And to do that, I can click this brainstorm button, but don't click it yet. See, the brainstorm button is cool, but it's not the best way to start brainstorming a video. Let me show you. I'm actually gonna bring you back to the dashboard or the home page. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click the new project button. And I want you to just appreciate this and stare at this. This is how you create a content idea with AI, add graphics, and then share it with the team who can approve or give feedback on the idea before you guys pull the trigger. This dashboard is absolutely incredible to look at. It feels great. And this is perfect for anyone who's doing YouTube, Instagram, blog content. So what are we looking at here? First, we've got a shelf full of options and inputs. Now, this part we're gonna come back to in a second, so I'm just gonna close the shelf for now. On the right-hand side, you can see we've got properties where you can set the privacy. And yes, on Spotter's account, you can have up to three team members working in one workspace. So you can build out your ideas alone and you can share them with the team. You can also set the status of your ideas in terms of where they are in the process. Over here, you'll see your history. But my favorite tool is the notepad where I can leave notes, drop links, 
even add images as I need to, to help tell the story. So where do I begin? I like to start with the title. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to type in that title that I saw earlier that I really liked my three, two, two strategy for Facebook ads. And I'm going to click brainstorm, which opens up a series of options where I can now rephrase that title, shorten it, explode it, mood shift it by picking an alternative emotion or create some of my own parameters. You'll notice as well that my shelf popped up again and is asking me to put in more information. So I might describe the target audience by saying something like business owners who are doing their own marketing. And now I'm going to click rephrase instantly. Spotter will come up with a bunch of ideas that I can now reshuffle or I can keep it. I can also save it for later if I like the title, but maybe it's not good for today, but I really like this example. So I'm going to keep it. And if you notice down at the bottom, there's a navigation tool here that shows me I'm on the title slide. But if I go back, you'll see the title has populated here in my package and I'm ready to move into my thumbnail. So I'm going to click brainstorm and what spotter will do using the prompts I've already provided is present a thumbnail that looks something like this and then boom, the thumbnails appear. And I can either use these as my thumbnails, or I can give these to a designer as a concept to build off of. But let me show you something really cool. On the left-hand side here, we can actually change our thumbnail graphic style to realistic. And when I ask for variations on these thumbnails, let's see what we get. So I'm going to go with this one, hit continue. We'll hit variations and it will now be in the realistic style and wow look at these much more realistic high quality thumbnails this thumbnail right here i could easily use or i could give it to a designer who could add my image in there i personally love this thumbnail so i'm gonna hit keep and i'm gonna close my shelf and i want you guys to notice that Spotter is building me out a timeline that I can move forward and backwards on. So I've got a great title and now I've got a great thumbnail. What I want to do now is unpack the concept. And so continuing on, we're going to hit brainstorm and we're going to see if Spotter can come up with some good concepts that we can build off of. So let's take a look at concept number one. This lively workshop explores how altering your Facebook ads targeting based on the hourly mindset shift enhances engagement, climaxing with attendees, designing a powerful ad campaign that increases conversion rates by 40%. Now, look, those numbers and terms may not mimic what I do perfectly with the 322 Facebook ad strategy, but it's giving me a concept where I can replace some of the words and rephrase that concept a little bit to build something that the boss will love, that my team will love. Let's look at the next one. In a social media showdown, Professor Charlie T tests the 322 ad technique against traditional methods, revealing an unexpected advantage with the 322 technique as an e-commerce professional sees a spike in the sales by weekends. Now this I really love. It's much more in line with what it is that we do. And so I'm going to have to replace less. I love the way it says social media showdown too, which kind of gives me again, like a concept to work with. This is almost like a one V one type of, of strategy here. So I'm going to hit keep, and then I'm going to scroll back past all the other work that I've done where I've got a thumbnail, I've got a title, I've got a concept, and I'm ready now to rinse and repeat this process to create more concepts so that the team can pick the best one. Now there's no save button. Spotter's going to automatically save this for you. So I may change the project name up here and I can either click the home button or the projects button. If I click projects, I can immediately start a new project. Or if I hit the home button, I can see that my current project is already set up and ready for me to look at or present. So I might build out two or three packages to present to the client. 
and my goal is to get them to pick one. Hey, we should show them the idea workshop in Spotter. You know, that's where you go to the left-hand side and you see this little beaker icon. If you click on it, it'll bring you to the idea workshop where you can build out your video script using the same Spotter system. Just about to do that but I'm gonna do it in the next video. So click the video that's on your screen now and let me show you how this incredible scripting tool works so that once you build out a package idea in Spotter, you can then use the scripting tool to build out that idea. Click on that video now, go get your free trial of Spotter and I'll see you there.